Hello everyone, I am Dr. Eric Morrison. This is 7 out of 3, and I'll be covering trading education, more specifically Forex swing trading, using the TC2000 platform. Hello, this is the Forex Week in Review for the currencies, starting off with the Aussie dollar, Canadian dollar. As you can see here, we had a 1-2 punch out. Uh, initial trade here out at the RL90 comes back down. Uh, initial trade here out for a loss here. No t further trade the rest of the week. As the dollar Swiss franc, we had no trade. Look at this week short here on the Heikinashi. Weak, very weak short, all above the RL10. So no trade. As the dollar Japanese yen, uh, initial trade here, another trade here, and out here. Then we had a one, two, three punch out here. Close out Aussie dollar Japanese yen. Aussie dollar New Zealand dollar. Nice one two three. Nice one two three. Uh, power of the one two three is behind a lot of trades when you're looking at institutional banks, hedge fund managers, and retail traders. So the one two three is very powerful, whether it be the three crows or the three soldiers. Aussie dollar US dollar. No trade. And initial trade here. Initial trade here. Out for a loss here. Canadian dollar. Swiss franc, no trade here. Initial trade here, out for a loss. No further trade the rest of the week. Look at this week, week short, week long. Right below the 200. Canadian dollar, Japanese yen, same thing, kind of consolidating at the a major moving average. This is the RL270. Initial trade here, out for a loss here. Initial trade here, out for a loss here. Swiss franc, Japanese yen. Uh, initial trade here, out for a loss here. Uh, almost a scratch there. You use the RL30. That could be a potential target there. That was a good trade there if you did the RL30. I did not. I used the RL90. I did not trade this one. I uh, didn't know if it was red or green at the time. But if you did trade it, it was out for a loss here. No further trade the rest of the week. Your Aussie dollar, again, a week long. Look at that. Right up against the 200 and the 270 at this point. Did not become a collapsing dragon. Just kind of went over to the summer, but now summer's coming over. So we did have a trade here at the end. The two candles south the RL10 uh, went ahead and took it. Nice close out for a nice one, two, three on Friday. So initial trade here, out for a loss here. Initial trade here, out for a loss here. We had one indicator away, and no further trade the rest of the week. Euro British pound, initial trade here, out for a loss, and no further trade the rest of the week. Euro Japanese yen. This trade here, another trade out for a loss here, no further trade the rest of the week. Euro New Zealand dollar, this trade here, another trade here, out for a lo loss here, this trade. Then we had a 1 2 3 punch out before this major drop on Friday. Euro US dollar, initial trade here, out for a loss, this trade here, out for a nice 1 2 at the high Kanashi. Aussie dollar, you can get this 1 2 3. Um, this trade here, out at the RL90. Good trade, no further trade the rest of the week. British pound Canadian dollar. This should trade here, out for a loss here. This should trade here, out for a loss here. Swiss franc, British pound Swiss franc. This will trade here, another trade, out for a loss. No further trade the rest of the week. British pound Japanese in, no trade. Look at that. Look at that week short haul hovered around the 200. Just doing nothing but stop hunting, the big bank stop hunting with major liquidity here at the 200. British pound New Zealand dollar. This should trade here. Another trade here above Heikinashi body above the RL10. Another trade here out at the 90. British pound US dollar. This should trade here out for a 1 2. Hits the RL90. Nice 1 2 out. This trade here out for a loss. Then we got a nice 1 2 3. In this direction we had a nice 1 2. Since this Frank again, nice 1 2 3. Hits the RL90 for Nainer. Then 1 2 3 in the other direction. Zealand Japanese yen. Nice 1 2 3. Zealand US dollar, nice one, two, three. Other direction, nice one, two, three. Good gainers on those. This trade here, out for a small gain here at the RL270 for one, two, three out. Did not take this going in the other direction. US dollar Swiss franc, on the other hand, beautiful one, two out here at the RL90. US dollar Japanese yen, uh, one, two, almost for a scratch, then going back the other direction. Nice one two uh, out for a small loss here at the US dollar Japanese yen. 
Looking at silver and gold, looks like starting to gain steam. This is definitely emerging dragon. Definitely emerging dragon, which means it goes from summer to fall to summer. With more inflationary pressures at this point. We're looking at also an upside down Buddha top, as you can see here. May have some retracement coming up here at 200 and then start to go back up. Usually for the Buddha, Buddha bottom, it usually moves this direction right here in terms of numbers. And that was for silver. Looking at gold, huge emerging dragon. Look at this. Summer, fall, back to, to summer. Look at that emerging dragon. This continues to go up, up, and up. It's almost a $100 difference there from here to here per ounce. All right, so that was a pretty quick move. And we'll see if it has steam. But all of these other emerging dragons failed at that point. This one did not. Well, folks, that's all I have for the Forex Week in Review. We currently have a Forex Boot Camp and Forex Intermediate course and a Forex Advanced course that does PineScript and Python programming for your auto trading. If you're interested, click on the links below. And remember, Ruthless Risk Management. This is a great Veterans Day weekend. Hope everybody had a great Veterans Day. And I'll see you on Sunday. Well, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button below and the subscribe button. And if you want more information on TC2000, I have an affiliate link below. If you open up a TC2000 account, you will receive a $25 discount using that link. Thank you for your time.